Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly love reading for Capricorn. Hope you guys are all well. Thanks for dropping in. If you haven't seen the singles readings I put up on Monday, you might want to check those out in my playlists. There may be additional messages there for you, for you single people, if this doesn't resonate. All right, Capricorn. Let's see where your energy is at this week. What is the overall energy surrounding Capricorn in their love life? What is the overall energy surrounding Capricorn? What does Capricorn need to know? Capricorn. There we go. Ah, there's some kind of movement. Something is moving. Ooh, you could be headed towards a commitment. You could be committing to moving to a new home. Uh, looks like you're. some of you are moving or have moved or you're moving on towards a commitment, but I think you have someone headed in your direction. I see that balloon in the background, this hot air balloon. Things are a little up in the air, but there is movement. I love this energy. Yes, and it's not super, super slow. We have no turtles here, Capricorn. Ah, yes. So there is someone who's holding on to you. They don't want to let go. So I feel like you have a bit of a commitment. Someone here is probably holding their feelings and emotions in, but they don't want to let go of you, okay? And I feel as though you are a little bit in protective mode about this movement so i i you know this is that protecting treasure energy but this is also like that four of pentacles things have been very stuck for a long time somebody's been holding their feelings close to their chest but they're ready to move okay so i feel you've got a commitment somebody wants to commit to you beautiful energy my goodness wow some of you could be moving to a new job as well. <laughs> it's telling you to hold on to your money. <laughs> yes. You, some of you may be saving for a move. You might be signing some kind of a contract. Taking everything with you. I see we got the house, the home. We got everything here on the back of this ostrich. Or maybe it's an emu. I'm not sure which is which. <laughs> But yeah, things are a little up in the air, but this is this is movement, and I love that there's movement. It's about time. Things have been very stuck. Someone doesn't want to let go of you, so I feel like they want to head towards this commitment with you. Capricorn, what's coming in, what's going out, what's changing in the love lives of the Capricorn viewers? Clear messages and guidance, please, for Capricorn. What does Capricorn need to know? Clear messages for Capricorn regarding their love life. Anything else? Ah, yeah. So there is something here about a commitment. Wow. Oh, you have an offer coming in. This could be coming from a Taurus. Beautiful energy. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, something very traditional. Things are moving in a traditional manner. And I feel it's telling you to keep the faith. There is an offer coming. Okay. <laughs> yes. Yes, a very traditional offer. Won't be anything totally unexpected here. Wow, we have the Nine of Cups. You're getting something you want. You have a wish coming true. Oh my goodness. Wow, this is something you've been hoping for, some of you. You could be getting engaged. Somebody may be coming in to offer you this. Look at that. Yeah, you're ready for this. Look at that. You could have a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or somebody with Taurus in their chart headed your direction. This person's ready to offer love, or you are. And I feel like there is a lot of love here. Wow, you're ready for this. Wow. Yeah, we have the Two of Cups. Two of Cups. Yeah, you, you may even have several people headed in your direction. You might have to make a choice here. But look at that, King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Somebody is coming in. They're very clear. They've been doing a lot of thinking. This is somebody who's also learning. Someone's becoming very clear. They feel this very strong connection here. This, wow, you may have actually have two people with air in their charts. One may have water in their chart. One may have earth in their chart. Possibly a Taurus energy. Yeah, you have somebody coming in to offer you this cup. They might be a little younger than you, or it could be an apology. There may be some kind of an apology. 
here but this is somebody who might be a little apprehensive a little worried because they possibly are an overthinker but somebody is definitely seeing you as commitment material and i do feel you have an offer a solid offer uh, some kind of new beginnings i mean it could be an engagement ring because i feel like this is that wish uh, something that you've been wanting this movement uh, this person's headed in your direction. This is a big decision. So you have a decision to make. Maybe you have two people, two offers coming in. So I feel as though you may not have faith in one person because I feel you got this page of cups. Somebody, maybe they're a little apprehensive, a little bit immature at the way they talk to you, the way they communicate, a little wishy-washy kind of. So this is how you're going to be basing your decision. I see some Libra energy, someone who's coming towards you very clear. Yeah, somebody is surrendering because they don't want you to give up. They're holding on to you. They want to put whatever happened between you in the past. So if there's been an issue, things were moving too slow or everything was up in the air, it's about to come forward. So yeah, you are going to give up on one person who's a bit wishy-washy. You're making that decision to let go. But you have another person who's coming in to surrender to you. Uh, they don't want you to give up on them. They don't want to let go. Yeah, this is somebody who's not letting go of you. Ah. Uh, Tell me about the faith. Why is faith here? Why is faith here? There we go. Yeah, look at that. Oh my goodness, yes. You have love. You have two people who are definitely in that emotional energy of the Queen of Cups, ready to offer that love. Oh my goodness. Yeah, there's movement. See that? Somebody is headed in your direction. They're coming towards you. Before you can get away and give up on them, they're going to come in. This is somebody who doesn't want you to give up. They don't want to lose you. Uh, but you are letting go of one person. I can see that energy. There, Definitely there's that decision. This could be a reconciliation because I feel things were a little bit up in the air. I see movement forward, though. It's going in two different directions. You've got one person I feel you're going to move away from. It's a be careful what you wish for. And then you have this other person. So you're trying to keep the faith here. And I feel like that's what you want is somebody who's faithful. And I do feel this person is, uh, oh, wow, this is beautiful energy. Tell me about the Nine of Cups. I'll dig into that once I get to that other Queen of Cups. Yeah, so yeah, see, there's somebody here who doesn't want to give up. And you want, you know what? You're keeping the faith. You know, I feel like you know within. You want love. You want someone who reciprocates it. And you have somebody who uh, sees you as very faithful, very loving, very nurturing, very caring. Uh, they know if they come towards you and they share their feelings that you will. They want you to surrender. They don't want you to give up and move on. Somebody doesn't want you to move away towards another person. So, wow, this has been a lot of work. You've had a tough time with this person. It's like a long time in coming. Tell me about this Queen of Cups. There we go. Yeah, there's your offer. You're looking at it, Capricorn. It's going to make you very emotional. You're going to look at this very carefully. I feel like you may have several offers because I see two people, two different energies. So you have to make this choice. Oh my goodness. This is going to be a very emotional decision. It's an offer of a commitment. So you've got to think about who is it that you want to commit to? Who do you feel will be faithful? Because I feel like that's what you want. You're trying to keep the faith. You're looking back at everything, all this hard work with this person. And you're going to be asking yourself, do I have faith in this person? Can I rely on this? Oh, I feel like you can. There is someone here. There's a soulmate energy. Somebody who definitely is committed towards you. They're up in their head. They may be someone who uses their logic, thinks with their head over their heart. And I feel they're becoming very clear. They likely were somebody who was doing a lot of overthinking. Yeah, so there it is, manifesting. You're mirroring each other. You there's you are totally mirroring someone. Look at that. You're both in this Queen of Cups energy. This is somebody here who sees you as somebody faithful and loving. Uh, they want to reciprocate those feelings and emotions. They don't want you to move away. They're coming. This is somebody likely coming back around. I feel like you're looking back at this. It's, you know, whatever it is that happened, it's been a lot of work. And I feel like you are just about to give up and here comes that person. You're getting something you want. You're getting a wish granted. Ooh, emotional fulfillment. Look at that. You've manifested this. You have manifested this by being loving and faithful to somebody. 
okay this person has faith in you you may not have so much faith in them because you're looking at the details but you're manifesting it make sure you're very clear about what you want make sure you know what your intentions are uh, because i feel like you're kind of manifesting something here make sure you know because once this person comes in now that's where you're going to have to make this big decision <laughs> okay you're getting something you want yes you are you're having a wish come true something you've manifested you're mirroring another person you both uh feel like your soulmates beautiful sharing the same feelings same emotions you're very much the same uh, you see eye to eye together wow tell me about this king of swords ah yes this person's definitely thinking of commitment thinking of marriage oh my gosh this is somebody who's definitely become very clear about what they want their their plan is to marry you to commit to you oh, wow and then we have the page yeah see there's that offer you some of you could be getting engaged in the next while and uh, you got this beautiful offer this is amazing tell me about the page of cups why is this here could be a little bit of an apology somebody might be feeling like they need to tell you that they're sorry it took so long for them to come around because i see the slow movement somebody coming towards you i feel you're moving away from one person though i do i feel like there's somebody you're going to put behind you but i feel like because this person was moving slow you almost gave up on them you almost gave up hope that they would come and share their feelings that you would have this emotional fulfillment but there it is wow this is amazing page of cups yeah so there's someone here who's coming in to put some work in put some effort in but there's someone here you don't want to put the work and effort into it's not going to work okay so because i do see a possibility of two because while this person's been taking so long to make up their mind uh, to make this decision about uh committing towards you you've been kind of moving on and even so you're definitely going to look at this very very carefully it's going to make you very emotional oh my goodness you've manifested this you have all the tools you need you have somebody here who has all the tools that they need to give you what you want so lovely judgment reconciliation yeah you've got two people you have to make a choice between two people somebody is uh wants to tell you that they love you they want to share their feelings there's definitely a bond and a connection and i feel as though oh my gosh you got a big decision you're definitely going to let go of someone but somebody here is coming in to surrender because they don't want to let go of you they don't want to lose you somebody absolutely doesn't want you to uh, go they know that they they it's like they've made up their mind here they've learned something and they're becoming very clear so they're coming in to tell you what their intentions are and their intentions are to commit and marry you okay i see an engagement i see something solid something very reliable here wow you can offer see you can trust in this all right it's telling you to keep the faith some of you have kept the faith uh with this person but i feel as though because it was so slow you were just about getting to the point of thinking maybe i should just let this go i should just give up on this person never going to get what i want wishful thinking you're looking back at it all and then bang here they are nine of wands yeah so there's somebody here who's headed in your direction they want to talk to you uh, this person's learned something they've been up in their head thinking and getting this clarity and they're learning something here very slowly and they're coming in to possibly share this with you they don't want to let go of you wow movement they this person wants to protect uh, this connection they don't want they want to hold on to it i feel you're a little bit in protective mode you're going to feel a little bit stuck so i feel as you're going to ground yourself and look at all the details before you make a decision because it's taken this person quite some time yeah there's something coming to an end yeah there's a there you're going to end something with someone you will let go there's something that you may need to let go of for this to move forward that you've been holding on to okay because i feel there's another person here something isn't working so you got someone here who may be coming in to talk to you to express themselves that they want to put some effort into this but i feel you have someone who's a little bit you know immature at sharing their feelings this is someone who has a hard time expressing their emotions so you have to make a choice between these two you may 
feel you know have an emotional connection or a physical connection with both who knows i see some libra energy uh, i see two people building each other up moving forward uh, communicating learning as you go letting go of something you've been holding on to uh, or maybe somebody has been holding on to you and you're going to end it because you're moving on here you're taking the things you've learned through this Wow, movement. Why is this movement here for Capricorn? Look at that. Yeah, you're moving towards something stable, uh, something more reliable, safety, security, commitment. I feel there's a communication coming. Somebody is coming towards you very quickly. You're going to look, read between the lines here. Make sure you feel comfortable with this, that you feel that this person will keep you safe and secure. But there is a commitment in this. If you read between the lines, this person is definitely wanting to talk to you want it, it it's happening very quickly so before you get a chance to let go it's being downgraded to the eight that communications coming in wow tell me about commitment why is this here why is this commitment here lovely yeah so there you are you want to know the whole truth nothing but the truth yeah you need to make a decision too you need to decide you want this person to commit they're very clear they're telling you what their intentions are here because you're asking this person where is this going what's happening uh you know you got a lot of questions you're going to be very discerning you want commitment and you want to know the truth because you're not going to put any more work into this if this person only wants to come in uh, with that physical energy because you're I feel like you put a lot of work into this and you're having a hard time um, keeping the faith that this will move forward but it's going to it's right here okay things are going to move forward very nicely look at that yeah you may have a Gemini Taurus cusp or a Gemini Libra Aquarius now uh, this person is thinking about commitment they're becoming very clear yes they're going to talk to you and share everything that they've learned they've learned something here um Wow, this person's learned something. The school of hard knocks here. They've learned the hard way. Uh, this person almost lost you. They don't want to let go. They want to put an end to this painful situation, I feel. You're definitely going to let go of one person who doesn't want to commit. Or you don't feel that you have any faith that they will commit. But one person will. You've got two, I feel. Some of you have two. Some of you, it's just this one person. There's a lot of love here. This person is wanting a reconciliation they want to come towards you and they are coming they're taking everything they've learned about their belief their tradition their behavior the way they conduct themselves so they're coming in to tell you what their intentions are yeah so you have the king of wands so you have several people here you have someone who doesn't want to give up they're going to fight for this they don't want you to let go they want to put an end to whatever's happened between you put it behind you they want to move forward successfully so you have someone who's coming in and they may have uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius in their chart. Wow, there's a, you, it's going to be different for each of you, but I feel this is somebody who's not giving up. I feel like it's the same person for most of you. They're coming in to fight for you. This person's very focused on you, but you want someone who focuses on you in the right way. And I can see that energy. Tell me about this love. Ah, uh, yeah, you're keeping things to yourself here. So I feel like there's somebody here who hides their feelings. Um, you're trusting your intuition to guide you, to help you make this decision. Uh, I see a Pisces energy. Someone may have Pisces in their chart. It may be you, maybe the person coming towards you. Somebody is being very wise. They're making the wise choice, and you're going to do that as well. So yeah, see, you're going to be very careful before you make a decision. You're going to make sure this person's uh, invested in you. This is something you've been waiting very patiently for. So you need to have a little bit of patience with this person as well. Okay, just be patient because I feel like your investments are about to pay off. But you're going to be wise. And I feel as though this person as well, they've learned something. So I feel as though you maybe had some sort of separation. Uh, this person... You, you didn't feel, you, had, you never had any faith that would ever turn into a commitment or marriage. You may have started moving away uh, and getting ready to let go. And they, they aren't going to let you go. This person's very sexy, very charming, very charismatic. They're going to come in and charm you. Tell me about the king of staves. Why is this person here? Yeah, so you've got this person here 
who's coming in to take that leap of faith towards you. They want this new beginning. So you have a new beginning. And I feel like you're going to go for it. There it is. Yeah, you've got commitment. Oh my goodness, look at all these cards. Yeah, there's that decision. This is a big decision. It is a reconciliation. Somebody is coming in to do things just right, to express themselves. And wow, but the decision is yours. Uh, if you've got two people, the decision is yours. You may have a an Aries, Leo, Sag, or Scorpio that's coming in to take a leap of faith because they don't want to let go of you. But I feel it for most of you, it's that same person. They've become very clear. They want to commit, and they've learned something the hard way. This person's learning about themselves, about their feelings. Uh, they're becoming clear. So there they are. Yeah, you got some clarity coming. Somebody's going to come in and express themselves. They're coming towards you right and they want to start something new. They want to commit. Some of you are getting engaged. Uh, this is a big decision. Big, big decision. Someone's making this. They want this. They want to come towards you. So if you've moved away from someone because it looked like they weren't going to commit, uh, there's a big transformation. Yeah, you may end something with one person. It could be a Scorpio or this person's coming in transformed. They want to move forward because they're not going to let go. Okay, you got two people, some of you holding on to you, but you do have to end with one, right? You realize that somebody has to go. Yeah, cutting somebody out, cutting to the chase. You're going to speak your mind and make yourself very clear that it has to move towards a commitment or you're going to cut someone out who you have no faith and commitment that will ever commit to you. That's and you're going to know who this is. I can see that energy. Tell me about this Queen of Cups. The owl, yeah, good advice from a wise person. So you have, there's some clarity here, okay? I feel like you're going to be very wise, uh, all right, in your decision. So you may be getting some advice from somebody who's telling you to just go ahead and offer up that cup or somebody else is getting advice and being told that they need to come in and commit to this love, commit to sharing their feelings because they don't want to let go. Oh my goodness, let's have a boo. Tell me about the King of Swords. Apple. Temptation. Yeah, so this person's going to tempt you. All right, this is going to be a little bit of a test. So make sure you get the truth. So this is the thing. You are very tempted with one person to move forward with them, and you're, but you're also tempted to let someone else go. Oh, this is a big decision. Uh, let's see. You could have a Leo, an Aries, some of you. I see Libra. I see Scorpio. Uh, you may even have a, some of you may have several people around you and you really do want somebody who commits, but there's one particular person here. So there is a transformation. So I feel as though, yeah, there is an opportunity here. Somebody is coming in. They don't want to lose this opportunity with you. Yes, you see that? They don't want to let go of you. So they know that they have to change. They have to uh, come in and fight for you and show you what their true intentions are. But I feel that you're very tempted by this. Very, very tempted. Or this person is very tempted to just up and, and marry you and commit and then get engaged very quickly. I feel that you're going to be cautious. Your intuition is going to guide you. Trust it here, okay? Just be patient and kind of see what happens if you've got two people. If you've got two people you feel a connection with and they're both kind of possibilities, I'll tell you, you'll be asking a lot of questions and I do feel you're going to make yourself very clear. Uh, you're either going to commit or, or forget about it. Tell me about the Queen of Swords. Yeah, so there we are. Yeah, there's that bird waiting for news. Package your letter. You're waiting for clarity, waiting for the truth. You want to know what someone's intentions are. Birds are messages, all right? And you are going to deliver a very clear message to somebody about this. But this could be you hearing what you finally need to hear as well from this King of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or a Gemini, Taurus, Cusp. Uh, or it's just that person's energy. Wow, you guys, I want to dig into this just a little bit more. Make sure I get all the people, all the people. Oh, that temptation. You're going to bite that apple, aren't you? I know you are. Tell me about this King of Swords. What are their intentions? Ah, this person here. Yeah, this person's going to protect you. This person's very, they're holding on to you. They don't want to let go. They're very loyal. Wow, they're getting some clarity. I feel like somebody may be talking to this person, telling them they need to keep the faith and love, that they need to commit. 
and um, to, and come towards you. So there is that clarity. This is the owl, this learning. Somebody is learning something. Maybe they learned something from you because you cut them out, spoke your truth. They weren't going to commit, so you moved on. You weren't putting any energy into anybody who was wishy-washy, that didn't know what they want, that couldn't share their feelings. Somebody has been working on their feelings and emotions, trying to figure out how to make this work with you as well. Oh my goodness, you guys. One more. Tell me about this magician. There we go. Yeah, so somebody's coming in to reach out. Both of you are the same. You're reciprocating the same energy back and forth. Somebody is coming in to talk to you, to reach out. And this might be someone who... Yeah, money is definitely coming towards you. There's some kind of offer there for some of you. You could be signing a contract, like I said, buying a house, moving, getting a new job that pays more. Uh, this is a commitment. You'll have to commit to this if you want the this to move forward. So keep the faith. I do see contracts here with money, uh, something you've manifested. But I feel as though uh, you and another person are, are going to talk back and forth. You're going to toss a few breadcrumbs, talk a little bit, all right, reaching out towards each other and reciprocate and share your feelings yeah you want that connection you want someone who's mentally and emotionally connected it's really important to you I feel and I feel like it's important to this person and this is what they're learning uh, they're learning something maybe there's something you shared with this person uh, you may have tossed a few things out there for them to think about and look at the way they're coming out of this they're thinking about marriage commitment their strategy is their plan is to come forward and do this because of something that you may have said. So you're waiting to hear about this. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles. Ah, yes, happiness. See, somebody's coming in to put the work in. They've been working on themselves. They may be apologizing for taking so long to figure out what they wanted, how they wanted to go about things, but you've got some happiness. Now, some of you are finding a lot of happiness in your work. Work is is good, Capricorn, of course, isn't it always? But you have someone here who's very loyal, someone who will protect you. Look at that. This is someone who will protect you, that will be faithful. And I really, really like this. You have somebody here who's speaking on your behalf. Um, feel very protective of you. This is someone who wants to hold on to you and doesn't want to let go. Oh, this is such a temptation. i got to dig into that just a little more. Tell me about this apple. This temptation will test you. Ah, the mule. Yeah, so somebody is stubborn. So if there is someone that's stubborn, this is going to be the test. You may need to hold back, all right, and just wait for this person to come in. But I feel as though you've got someone here who's stubborn. You've got two. Some of you have two. And I feel like you're going to stop talking to one person and move towards another. Or the other person is going to stop talking to other people and come towards you. They, it could be them who has a choice. Uh, this mule is sort of stubborn, stuck, unwilling to change. So you have someone here who is unwilling to change. And I feel like you will end it with them. Okay, you're going to let go of them. And this could be you as well. You may need to let go of being stubborn. There may be something you're holding on to that you're looking at here that you may, maybe you're the one who's been stubborn. <laughs> you're not letting things flow possibly. Something you may be holding on to that happened. It's telling you if you can put this behind you, whatever this is with this one person, you're going to get what you want. So it's not always picture perfect, but I feel as though you've been waiting very patiently here. And I feel like if you're patient with this person, I feel like your investments will pay off. Somebody is invested in this happiness with you and they want to come towards you, invest in your happiness and vice versa. That's being reciprocated beautiful energy let's see what the outcome is oh my goodness capricorn yeah if you're holding on to something and you've been stubborn refusing to move even though this you got two people you may be tempted to hold on to maybe even two people here to see what happens but i feel like your wise choice is is to let go of something there's some i feel like it's you I feel like you're holding on to something and or there's someone who's refusing to hold on to you they see the opportunities here there's a door that's about to open all right you're going to be presented with this opportunity and like i said you could have two but there is a person who is not going to give up in fact they're so determined so focused so passionate about this that they could also be stubborn <laughs> they're going to keep coming this is someone who doesn't give up okay so it goes both ways but i do feel like it's both of you i both feel like you both have things you need to talk about to share 
Yeah, there's some message that's coming towards you. Yeah, details, details, details. <laughs> Four of Pentacles energy. So look at all the details. Be wise, okay? I feel like some of you have got two people headed in your direction, but only one of them is commitment material. Only one of them wants to commit uh, and tell you what their intentions are. So this is someone who does not want to let go of you. You're going to look at the details, though, very carefully. You want love. You want to make sure it's reciprocated. I see you pointing towards it, though. You love this person. I do. I see you. There's a lot of love here. There we go. Two cards fell out. Yeah, metamorphosis. So I feel like there's a lot of change and transformation coming. Something, whatever this offer is, it's going to change everything. It's going to change the way you see this person, the way you see yourself, and vice versa. It's also an ending, putting an end to something and learning to go with the flow, riding the wave, right? Not being so stubborn, so stuck, so set in your ways. And it could be the person that's, I feel this energy is a lot the other person. They're becoming very clear. They want to come towards you. They're learning as they go. All right. There is travel. There is a little bit of distance possibly between you. But this person is not giving up. They're coming towards you. They're going to keep learning. They want to learn as they go. And you may be teaching this person something. Maybe, you you know, you were trying to teach this person something by something that you said. And I feel like they have been looking at the details of whatever you said. And they're ready to go with the flow, to ride the wave. One more card for Capricorn. Wow, the highs and the lows. Yeah, wide open. Somebody's coming in to open up, right? Make sure that you are open and available. All right, be ready to receive this. I feel you have a gift coming. This is something really beautiful. So be open and available. Be open to hear what this person has to say. You may need to listen, okay, as well to this person. You may need to read between the lines, like stop and listen to what they have to say. There's something in this message, and this is something beautiful. Uh, I, I really, really like this reading for you guys. So whatever it is, the struggle you've been having with this person, it's telling you to put this behind you, okay? Let it go. Yes, it's been a lot of work. You've worked very hard, and I feel as though while you were moving away from this person, about ready to let go, they're like, Heck no, I'm coming back to get my Capricorn. I This person has learned. They know what they want. They're very, very clear. Lovely energy, Capricorn. I wish you guys the best. If this doesn't resonate, check out my playlist. There's singles love readings there. Uh, maybe there's a message there for you. All right, take care, and we'll see you soon.